Oh, lecturers, my God. I, I was afraid of my lecturers. Okay. Swami Lagu Lair Lijjarata. Friends, shall we call friends? Because we are in the same business. Did you know that? No. Teaching business. Not cheating business. Because why do I use this word business? If when you are traveling, your neighbor will ask, what is, what's your, what's, what are you doing? If you say, I am a teacher, he will not look at you afterwards. <laughs> but if you say, I am in business, he will immediately pull out a card. Here is my business card. What are you doing in the evening in Bombay? Nothing. Why don't you come and join me? We will have a drink and you know, we will discuss various things about business. Then also you escape. But supposing you really go there. And then say, I don't drink alcohol, I'll drink uh, some water. Then he'll say, what business are you in? Then you're stuck. Being a teacher, you can't tell a lie, right? You take the oath. I will never tell a lie. Right? So what do you do? You say, I'm in brain sharpening business. Now, how do you define a teacher? Who is a good teacher? Yes, ma'am? A constant learner. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Who is a good teacher? Who is a good teacher? I am, I'm sure all of you are good teachers. So you must know who is a good teacher. Who inspires? Big word. We get all this all the time. Inspiration. Where does it come from? From perspiration. A good teacher is one who makes the student want to learn the subject. Did you understand? A good teacher is one who makes the student want to learn that subject. Not telling everything that you know, because you can't tell nobody anything that he does not know already. How do you do that? You are like the menu in the restaurant. When you go to the restaurant, what do you see first? Menu card. On the menu card, if it is very good, then you want to eat all that is the menu card. Like that when a student comes to the college or school, it's a teacher who should be a very good menu. If this is my teacher, I want to study this subject. Make the subject so interesting. But most of us make the subject so dull, I tell you. Because we tell him all that we know. If somebody said, if you took a subject to a specialist, he will complicate it so much that nobody understands it. But it takes a genius to go in the reverse direction to simplify it without losing the essence of it. So a teacher evolves and a teacher evolves from the day he or she becomes a teacher till the day he or she is taken to the crematorium. Every day a good teacher should be a good student. Do you know why? Half of what you know today will have been proved wrong in another five years time. But most of us the problem is we don't know which half it is. That's the problem.